Hello and welcome to an overview of how vCenter Operations Management Suite can help you solve problems in your private cloud or virtualized environment. In today's demonstration, we will focus on the smart alerting feature in vCenter Operations Manager that can help proactively identify potential performance problems in your environment. Traditional monitoring tools typically use static thresholds to identify performance problems and alert you every time a metric crosses that static threshold. But in a shared and dynamic virtual environment, this creates false positives and alert storms. vCenter Operations Manager uses patented analytical algorithms to actually learn the normal behavior of your environment. And then using this knowledge, it dynamically calculates the thresholds for objects and adjusts them continuously over time. The result is fewer but more meaningful smart alerts that can help you troubleshoot issues before your end users are impacted. The smart alerts in VCOps are accessed from the Alerts tab. Similar to the dashboard or analysis heat maps, you may choose to use alerts as a starting point to troubleshoot operational issues in your environment. The top half of our Alerts tab shows us an alert volume chart, or a graphical representation of the number of alerts in our environment over the last seven days. This helps us visually assess the overall volume of alerts that have been triggered in our environment. The color coding in the graph represents the criticality of these alerts. The red obviously is the most critical, followed by orange and yellow. The number of current active alerts broken down by severity is shown on the right-hand side of the graph as well as the total number of active alerts at the bottom. Smart alerts are triggered when any minor badge changes in color. You have the option to enable or disable the alerts from the Configurations tab. And whether you use a default policy or any custom policies, you can edit them to enable or disable the alerts for specific badges. For example, we can enable or disable badges separately for the infrastructure, VM, or groups. If we want to disable a badge, simply uncheck the badge threshold. To enable it, simply check so that the threshold icon is a solid color. Next, we need to select the specific badges that we wish to activate alerts for. Here we can see the list of all the minor badges, and again, we can configure alerts separately for infrastructure, VM, and groups. The bottom half of the Alerts tab provides us an alert list with details for each alert. This is an interactive interface that allows us to easily narrow down on the specific alerts we wish to focus on. As with other features in VCOps, the alert list is context-specific to the object we have selected on the left. In other words, just like the other tabs in the vCenter Operations UI, the alert volume chart and the alert list are updated to show only the active alerts for the selected object. We can also filter the alert list to only display the specific badges that we want to focus on at the time. For example, we can hide all the alerts for the compliance badge by clicking on the compliance icon. We can also sort the alerts by columns. Here, in order to view the alerts in descending order of criticality, just click on the criticality column. We can also use the search box to look for a specific alert. For example, if we type SharePoint, we will see all the alerts associated with the SharePoint application. Simply clear the search box and we're back to the original list of alerts. We can also filter the alert list by specific resource kinds. Just click on the drop-down box next to the resource kind column and we can choose the alerts for a specific object. You can also hide any columns that you're not interested in. Now, let's focus on how we can use the alert details to troubleshoot a performance issue. To begin with, let's look at this capacity remaining alert on the main storage Ops3 object. Double-clicking the alert takes us to the alert details. The alert details page provides us all the details for the alert and when this alert was issued. Here we see the capacity remaining alert for this data store indicates that there is no capacity for any additional virtual machines and this is because of the disk space associated with the data store. It also gives us an indication of the capacity rules that we use to calculate the remaining capacity. To look at the current state of the object, we just have to click on this button here. So far, we've only seen how to monitor alerts from the vCOps user interface. vCenter Operations Manager can also send out email notifications or SNMP traps to appropriate stakeholders when an alert is triggered. To do this, we need to first configure SMTP or SNMP details in the vCOps Administrator user interface. 
Then we need to configure the notification rules from the Notification tab. To do this, we'll select the alert type, the criticality level of those alerts, as well as the objects for which we want to be notified. For example, in our case, this email notification rule will notify the test user 1 for all the risk-related alerts irrespective of the criticality level for all the objects in our environment. Now that the email notification rules are set, here is an example of an email that VCOps will generate. This alert notification includes the alert type, the criticality level, the object on which the alert was received, as well as the details for that specific alert. vCenter Operations Manager is integrated with vCenter Orchestrator, which allows us to conduct automated remediation. We can use the email notification or SNMP traps triggered by the vCenter Operations Manager alerts to launch workflows created in vCenter Orchestrator to automatically remediate our performance issues. To do this, we first create a policy in the vCenter Orchestrator instance that listens for alerts coming from vCOps. Here's an example of an SNMP trap policy that is listening for capacity remaining alerts. The trap policy automatically launches the data store capacity remediation workflows, which will gather further information about the capacity usage on that data store and prepare an email report to be sent out to the appropriate stakeholders. We can also leverage various third-party plugins for vCenter Orchestrator for remediating performance issues in our environment. So to recap, we've seen how vCenter Operations Manager Smart Alerts, based on dynamic thresholds, can proactively identify performance issues in your environment even before end users are notified. We've also seen how we can trigger automatic notifications based on vCenter Operations Manager Alerts using email or SNMP traps to the appropriate stakeholders and then launch vCenter Orchestrator workflows for automated remediation. For more information about the vCenter Operations Management Suite, please visit vmware.com. Thank you.